Hey, how are we doing guys? Great here, and today we've got our week four battle of the PAC. Is it week four? It's week four. Um, yeah, we're going up against Goldo Dragon and his New York Empoleon. The only other time we faced off is uh, in UBL, and unfortunately we missed a rock slide and ended up getting swept by a Volcarona. So uh, here's hoping we don't miss our rock type moves this week. We actually do have a couple on here. Make sure to go check out his channel. His link will be down in the description below as well as all the other coaches for the PAC this season. If like if you're enjoying the content, subscribe. Support is greatly appreciated. Let's press A, let's get into this. <clears throat> Again, I'm still, I still got a cough. I don't know how long this cough has been with me, but I'm still coughing. I apologize if I cough through the entirety of this game. Um, but yeah, we'll see what he brings. I don't know if he's intro in right now. <clears throat> I assume that he is. But I may, may make a cut here and uh, I'll see you guys in about. Okay, so he brought all the low tiers and why there's a fucking sea king on my screen why is there a sea king i'm scared um there is noctowl what is this team this is not what i was expecting at all there's no toxtricity there's no tapu finny <clears throat> i don't want to say that banded garchomp might just claim every time it comes in but it might just claim every time it comes in uh, if i can kill the Aegislash, slash then i'm Honestly, I'm not even sure. I don't know what's happening. Um, I thought, you know, I'll bring the Marsh Tomp because I struggled to check his mons. And he comes in with the Seeking, so he's just outdone me. Um, okay. Yeah, cool. Sure. Um, lead still Marsh Tomp? Maybe? I don't know. There's a Lorantis. That That's actually a problem. That, why is there a Lorantis here? Um... <clears throat> I kind of expect that to be like Ockerberry Superpower Leaf Storm, maybe as Defog. I don't know, maybe the Noctowl's Defog. Honestly, who knows? I. Yeah, um, we'll lock this in. <clears throat> I mean, I shout out to Goldoa for bringing some heat. I, I, yep. I am lost for words currently. I'm gonna lose to a Sea King, aren't I? <clears throat> Anyway, black screen of death, let's see how long. Oh no, it's not too bad. Uh, let's see what he leads off with. Dorte, that is the Mudsdale. That's uh, acceptable. As much as I do want damage on this, is damage better? I could just fire off a skull. Nah, I'm just gonna get rocks. We'll probably trade rocks here. <clears throat> I'd be very surprised if he is scared of this Marsh Tomp. And he'd be right to not be scared. Yeah, he's just going to stay in. <clears throat> I'm assuming rocks. He doesn't do any damage to me. Uh, rocks are a little bit annoying, but if he defogs at some point with one of his top tier defoggers, then we should be alright. I'm going to scold. The Lorantis probably comes in. But there ain't shit I can do to the Lorantis anyway, so... Uh, no, he's going to let me scold. That is respectable damage. Burn? No burn. <clears throat> what are we going to see here? Toxic? That's a bit rude. Are you going to be rest? Surely not with... Hey, you might be resto chesto. Do we see leftovers? We do see leftovers. I doubt this will be rest, because that would make literally no sense whatsoever. Um, I'm kind of happy to trade my Marsh Tomp for this Mudsdale, a sentence that I didn't expect to say this season. But yet, here we are. <clears throat> if he goes into the Lorantis, I will take the burn. Another sentence I did not expect to say this season. What is the world coming to? Um, Carnation, that is the Lorantis. Um, I didn't plan to have a check for this. So I'm actually kind of hoping I just get the burn. Nope. Unfortunate. Um, I mean, my switch into Heatran is somewhat obvious. It's... yeah. I still, like, click a button with it. Does Superpower kill me? I'm actually getting scared now. A burn would have been lovely. Um... Is there even a Lorantis set on the damage calc? Apparently there is. How much is Superpower doing? It's doing so much damage. Holy shit. That's adamant. Um, 
I mean, I guess I could go into Thundy. But I don't have anything to hit this. Uh, I'll go into Heatran. If he superpowers, then he superpowers. This thing is genuinely a threat. <clears throat> this seems like an obvious switch. He probably just superpowers, right? Oh, he knocks off. That's not the worst. Do we get the flame body? Right, nothing wants to be powered in this game. Some bullshit. Um, I can just Magma Storm. I think it's pretty free here. The Seeking can come in. And once again, I I, I don't know. I'm going to Calc against the Seeking. Yep, there's the Seeking. <clears throat> is this Assault Vest? I land the Magma Storm. This is going far better than it really should. That is Assault Vest. Holy shit, that thing is the most... AV seeking I've ever seen. It's the only seeking I've seen in my life, but it's the most AV seeking I've ever seen. <laughs> okay. Bear with me as I work out what the fuck seeking even gets. Does it? It will get ice beam, I'm sure. I mean, I could just go back out into into you. He probably flip turns. He probably flip turns, but I. That's a AV seeking. I I have no words. Uh, there's a flip turn. I guess I could have stayed in, but I. That did respectable damage. Because <laughs> I am somewhat fizz deaf. Okay, well it doesn't even matter. But it, it, for 101, I think that put me down to. In comes this thing again. It's gonna take another round of rocks, which is fine by me. I he might leaf storm. He might superpower. Um, I'm kind of not in a position, weirdly enough, where I can really do anything now. I'm gonna click counter on the off chance that he's gonna go for superpower. If he leaf storms me, it's fine, it's a marsh dom. There's a superpower. Live? Oh, that, that easy living. Easy. This counter's actually going to do like 30%. Respectable damage. Um, so we managed to chip the Lurantis into range of something. Uh, I mean, is this going to be like cussed up? I mean, he's in cast up range now, so yeah, fuck it. I'll click. I'll click counter. <laughs> Why not? Please. Ah, uh, no. Oh no. It's fine. I should have scolded, but you know it is what it is. If he wants to get greedy and click it again, I will die here. So don't mind. <clears throat> I still think this could be Ockerberry. Which is a little bit worrying. Uh, my play is still to go into you. How fast is Seeking? 68 speed. Uh, do I still kill? Oh, let me just go Heatran. And why am I calking against an Assault Vest Seeking? Um, I am not at 100, I am at 96. Um, Earth Power will do the most damage. But I think I should be able to eruption into Earth Power here. And maybe that knocks out the Seeking after rocks. I don't remember how much this is at. Okay, I don't think that will actually do it. Goes down to 50%. Okay. I guess okay, a crit. Probably Earth Power will knock it out now. I don't think this will outspeed me unless it's Jolly. I have no idea, to be honest. Okay, we do outspeed. This should knock it out. You <laughs> I 
just lost my t trend to a fucking seeking, so. What what am I supposed to do? Uh Your green's looking acceptable now in this matchup. Did he bring an earthquake switch in? He did, he brought a knocked out. God damn it. Um you don't really have a good switch into I I'm lost in this game, I'll be honest. Um I'll just go Garchomp. I've, I've got to respect the, the Seeking Brink. It has put in work. I, I can just Earthquake pretty freely, I think. Does he want to preserve this? I doubt it. I mean, it was on 1 HP, so it would have died to rocks anyway, but... He could have wanted a sack. Who knows? Urshifu comes in, I pick a sack. But I don't think it'll be the Urshifu that comes in here. I would assume Mudsdale. Maybe the Lorantis? I don't have a switch into Lorantis now. <laughs> Who'd have thought the game would have gone like this? I was so scared of everything else on his team. Yeah, there's Lorantis. I'm I'm curious. This is like a. It's, I don't think it's max defense, but I certainly don't do any damage to it. Um. I guess I'll go out to you. Like, the end game is still probably going to be try and get Lele. Lele in? I'm not boots, so this kind of sucks. You can also just default here, right? Oh, okay, knock off. Makes sense. Did a considerable amount of damage. Um. He will know that I don't have anything really that can hit him here. How much is a Psychic doing? Now I've not Specs as well, which kind of sucks. I was uh, definitely calking Specs with my Heatran. I do nothing to a Lorantis with this. U-turn uh, does the most damage. How much would a Poison Jab from Garchomp do? Poison Jab wouldn't, we would do enough after the U-turn. But, maybe he goes Mudsdale? It's this. Interesting that he went into that. U-turn does very little. Uh, I mean, how does Garchomp take a hit? This is like a Scarf Noctowl for whatever reason. What about Greedon? What is Greedon? I, I'm just, I'm floundering. It's probably max HP at the very least. Uh, plus two superpower, doing respectable damage. It's leftovers. Okay, so... I will Swords Dance and see what he wants to do here. Hurricane? Does decent amount. Does get a confusion. Please don't hit yourself in confusion, Green. Okay. Now it's even worse if I hit myself in confusion. Um, in fact, 
I don't know what I'm, I'm literally just fucking throwing this game. Um, because now I don't take a hit afterwards. But superpower probably knocks you out. If I hit myself with confusion, that would really suck. Can you miss the hurricane? Can I then not be confused? Hacks is a winkle. That's max def- why is this max defense? <laughs> I'm so confused. <laughs> what is happening in my life right now? Well, I, I guess I gotta go for it again? Do I lose to AG? No, I mean I can Earthquake spam relatively freely after this. He gets this, confu his, this confusion, this hurricane. Please don't let me down, Greedent. Good lad. Good lad. <laughs> okay. I mean, I'm trading a fucking PU mon for a PU mon here. But... <laughs> you know what? They're probably not even PU. I, I'd assume that it just said you. Um, I'm going to make a bold assumption and say the Urshifu comes in here. And the Urshifu gives me a bad time. Yep. I mean, I'm at minus two defense. I'm not taking a hit regardless of what I go for. So uh, yeah, I'll just, I'll just superpower. If he bulks up or something, you turn. I'm dead. But you know what? Greedon got a kill. <laughs> Greedon did in fact get a kill. And I am none the wiser to what that Urshifu set is, but... You know what? Losing Heatran to a Seeking in retrospect was not good. Well, is this the AG? Yeah. I mean, this does give me Garchomp. And I am banded. So. I would assume you would have to be defense invested to be able to live this earthquake. He's probably going to go Lurantis. That is the Lurantis. It's probably 2 AKs after Rocks, though. I would bloody hope this 2 AKs after Rocks. You are a banded Garchomp. Thank you. Okay. That's probably the most British sentence I've ever said in my life. I use the word bloody. I think Garchomp might be the wing on here. Unless he is Scarf Urshifu. If he's Scarf Urshifu, then uh, that's a bad time. Uh, how much is Scarf Urshifu doing? He's not got Ice Punch, which he probably does have the Ice Punch, I would have to assume. I know it's an assumption. Ice Punch would kill me. Not too surprised about that. Earthquake after a second round of rocks probably doesn't knock him out. Gorte, that is the Mudsdale. I do 2 a KO you, but do I want to take that hit? Like, does this open up anything for me? Not really. I do want to just check. I've got plenty of time. I'll quickly check. Because I don't know if Mudsdale gets counter. It does get counter. See, now I'm worried about counter because of the other shit he's, bring, he's brought this game. I'm now scared of a counter Mudsdale. 
and I would lose if he goes for it here. So I will scout. So what's the other move he's going to go for? Like Earthquake? Body Press? Earthquake. So I will take the chip on this. Dark Pulse hits everything, so I'll go Dark Pulse. Might also get a flinch. And I do need chip on Urshifu. That's the AG? That's the AG. It'd be nice if I had specs. If this is weakness policy or totemize, then I may just lose it. That did a lot of damage. It's not, okay. And you can take me out of a Shadow Sneak. That would be fine. Yeah, because I just need damage on this. My Lele should be able to live. Should be able to live one. Yeah, there's a Shadow Sneak. I wasn't about to hard Lele there. That would have been ballsy. Because Lele just needs this gone, realistically. So I will go Garchomp. It will give him a bit of chip. Especially with the sneak. Maybe should have gone Lele first, but no, no, no. I don't think that's the right play. Um, I will just Earthquake. She does sneak again. I think he is absolutely Scarf Urshifu. But is he going to be Adamant Scarf? That's the question. If he's Adamant Scarf, I think he wins this game, regardless. So I don't care about taking damage on this. Uh, it goes into the horse. Uh, this time I will just Earthquake. Because with another round of rocks, I'm pretty sure I'm in range of Wicked Blow regardless, so I'll just 2 it care of this. If he reveals a counter now, then... Good fucking play. But. There's the Earthquake. This shouldn't knock me out by any means. Might put me in range of Sucker. But. This has been a, an interesting game, to say the least. How I've managed to come back from... I mean, mentally, I'm, I've am i not come back from Seeking picking up a KO against me. But in terms of the actual game, I've managed to bring this back a little bit. And it, we'll see whether or not he is Choice Scarf Urshifu here. I, you, you just you've got to assume that it's Choice Scarf, right? The way they've played this. Um, if he's Adamant Choice Scarf, he will knock me out after Ox. If he is Jolly Choice Scarf, he has a chance to knock me out after Ox. We will see. There's a Scarf. So this now comes down to whether or not he is Adamant or Jolly. And also whether or not he gets the roll... Uh, whether he gets the roll on the Wicked Blow here. Because I am EV'd to have a 31% chance to live this after rocks. If he's Jolly. If he's Adamant, then I I'm fucking dead, mate. But Well, we're going to find out. Moonblast. Goes to the Wicked Blow, does it knock me out? We live in, boys. That defensive investment came in big. What, what, a, what a game. What a world we live in. The, we can see a Noctowl, a Lorantis, a Sea King, a Greedent, and a Marsh Stomp in a game, and... I, yeah, good game to go, Noah. What, I've got to ask him what that team was. But it fucking worked for him, so I guess I, I guess I, I can't really question his team if it actually worked for him. The Sea King set actually, I, I lost my Heatran to a Sea King. Okay, I'm done. I'm, I'm mentally, I'm, I'm over it, I'm over it. We pick up the 1-0 win, which is, you know, that's always nice. We go 4-0 in uh, PAC. We're one step closer to playoffs. 
Um, I'm hopefully going to recover by the time I get to my next game, which is against Owen, aka OG Albina. Uh, you've got to leave a like for that, honestly. If you don't leave a like for the Seeking, for the Noctowl, the Greedent, Greedent, by the way, is genuinely just the best Pokemon in existence because it was able to take out a Noctowl that was trying its best to confuse it. But uh, Marshtomp existed, it did things, it, it, yeah, that's it. Um, Garchomp pretty much just cleaned up that game. Let's be honest, Garchomp did all the work. But I'm going to say it was Green and Marshtomp. Um, yeah, I'm rambling on now, so I'm going to wrap this up and try and work out what just happened. Uh, if you did, did enjoy the battle, please leave a like. Make sure to go check out Coldoa. His side has got to be fantastic. So, yeah, make sure to go and show him some love. And, uh, yeah, until the next one, have a great day, guys. Bye.